first job in the front desk below. They tell me the weekend's pretty slow. It's a good thing. Good afternoon. I am calling from the Design Exchange. I'm calling from the Design Exchange Museum. I'm calling to invite you to our second in second annual fundraising design auction. Good afternoon, Mr. Simmons. I'm calling from the Design Exchange Museum. I'm calling to invite you to our second annual fundraising design auction. A live auction will offer up a selection of curated limited edition objects and it will be hosted by a professional auctioneer. There's supposed to be a wedding here today around two, so it's gonna be another two and a half hours, two hours. And that should be interesting. I haven't seen a wedding here before, but the trade show is a really nice venue to have it at, so. So I'm supposed to add a bunch of emails to a newsletter. So that's something like this. But what does this even say? I can't read that. How am I supposed to input it if I can't read it? Finished my shift, now it's like 4.30. I've got to say, working at the design exchange is pretty good. This is probably by far the easiest job I've ever had. I'm not very, I'm not really doing all that much since I'm only doing part-time at the front desk. So a lot of the duties are just given to the full-time staff. Great job, pays pretty well. And then, even though I'm only working part-time, I'm only gonna be working weekends, so it's Saturday, Sunday, which is okay. Now I'm headed over to Staples, gonna buy a lock, gonna go to the gym, drop my stuff off, I'm gonna go for a run. Office snacks. No. So apparently since it's the weekend, the gym closes earlier today. It closes at five. I'm just gonna leave my stuff in the locker. Headed over to this creepy park by the harbor front. Basically, there are a bunch of creepy statues. We'll see when I get there. Okay, do you see what I mean? What, what is he what is even doing? Looks like she's about to give birth. Doesn't look like a healthy child. What is this? This one guy chilling back here, watching everything happen. Still pretty cool though. All right, halfway through my run, it's like five kilometers. I'm gonna head back and then I'm gonna go home. Shit. 
shit. Since this is Ryerson, I found a way to get around from another part of the building so I can get my stuff. Security at Ryerson is, eh, I mean, it's not that hard to get around. It's late at night. Um, after I was about to go home, I actually ran into a man named Chris. He's an Irish man. He told me about how that park was actually a memorial to the Irish immigrants that came to Toronto in 1847. I'm reading about it here. Back in 1847 when the Irish were fleeing a famine and this led to them immigrating to Toronto, but a lot of them died from, I'm not sure if it was starvation or disease, but it was actually quite tragic. Mm -hmm.